Hello, everybody. This is Wang Liang, the Aragon watch designer. In this episode today, we are going to show you a watch that you've seen before, but in a different execution. So now this is the Aragon Dive Master Titanium Automatic, not the GMT version, just the three hands with the date. So it's the brand new version and with all new colors in two sizes, 45 millimeter and 50 millimeter. Not only that, it's also coming with the black ceramic bezel insert. All right, let's dive in and talk about this watch. All right, look at what we have here. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this collection. And I think it was about a month ago, uh, back in April, we show you this collection in the GMT. So let me give you the official name of this collection, which is the Aragon Dive Master Titanium Automatic. Okay, Aragon Dive Master Titanium Automatic. Okay, so this is not a GMT. And all the colors were not produced in the GMT except the blue. Okay, so later on, I'm going to come back and show this to you. Um, as far as the size is exactly just like the GMT. So it's a 45 and a 50. But now let me go back and share with you the GMT execution is nearly sold out. Okay. I believe the 45 is definitely maybe one or two pieces around. Uh, the 50 millimeter is almost at the end. Okay. So that's why I want to bring you out the automatic three hands with a date collection. Okay. So, um, so if you're familiar with the specs, but I would like to share this with you because a lot of people um, may have not seen this. Lately, we have a lot of new customers all over the world. It's incredible. Um, our international customers are expanding, especially in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, um, and those three regions, we have more and more customers over there. And, and I want to say hello to you. And Europe is incredible. Uh, United Kingdom, we're growing so fast. Um, and also Canada, Brazil, Puerto Rico, um, Europe, such as Switzerland, uh, Germany. A lot of watches are going over there as well. Okay, so if you are new to Aragon, okay, uh, let me share with you about this collection, why I like it so much, okay? And why you like it so much as well. Uh, if you already own the GMT or the one with the Wings birthday gift, um, it is simply, I believe, one of the best Aragon watch I've ever designed and produced, Okay. So this, the one I'm holding is the 50 millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna, um, you know, use my favorite screwdriver to point out all the features. All right, so 50 millimeter from nine to three o'clock position. Okay, this is a black ceramic bezel insert. White loom glows blue on the bezel. Sapphire crystal. Okay, and then the index and the hands are white loom glows green titanium okay so titanium uh, i believe this is the second titanium watch in the aragon history the first one was the virtuoso and i believe it was approximately seven to eight years ago uh, somewhere like between six to seven years ago and it's they're all sold out they were made in 48 millimeter a lot thicker. And this one right here, okay, is 13.5 millimeter for the 50 and 13 millimeter for the 45, okay? It's point, less than half a millimeter. It's not that noticeable to me. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind either. So for the crown, it's nine millimeter and for the 45 is seven, okay? Now, if you're gonna order the 50, okay, you could have the extra long strap, okay? Only the 50, okay? So um, besides the titanium, you know, it's known for lightweight, durability, non-corrosive, and also um, anti-allergy, allergenic, uh, 200 meters water resistance as well. 
Okay, I'm going to put this down because I want to go through every single color, um, you know, one by one. But I'll go back again. So if you like the black and black, I, you know, I feel this collection, all colors are amazing. Okay, but I have a very strong feeling the yellow is going to be number one. I'm just predicting, but I, you know, I could be wrong. But I will, you know. If you follow me on social media, I constantly update. Uh, you know, I like to update. Oh, how many pieces left? Or oh, one piece is left, or less than fifty. So it's very exciting news for us. To share that with you. Um, okay, this is the black with black. Now, it's really interesting. You think oh, black with black, um, but actually, our cost to make this piano black dial. It's a little bit more than the Sunray, believe it or not. Okay, I think this black on black is like a classic. Silver hands, silver outline with the R index. How close can I come with this camera? Check this out. I mean, we whether you are watch collector or you are looking for a new watch to replace. You know what you got. You know sometimes watches get old and all scratched. I think this is a perfect watch for anybody, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. Because it's so versatile. Okay, that the design is great. That's my opinion. Um, you can wear this watch as a dive watch. You can wear this with, you know, every day to go out. And also, you can go swim, swimming, and do all the water activities. You don't have to worry about removing it from your wrist. And then also, it's a silicone strap, right? So it's as compared to um, bracelet, it's a slightly heavier, but with especially summer is coming up, wearing a silicone strap will be quite comfortable. All right, here we go. The yellow. This yellow is a solid yellow, so it's not like a sunray yellow. And how would I describe this yellow? Because the reason why I say this is, everyone's screen will look different, slightly different, right? Whether you have you're watching this video from your TV camera or your phone, it will look slightly different. But this yellow. It's a like a yolk, I would say, but yolk is a little bit orangey. But this has no orange in it. Okay, and what I also like about this two colors, the yellow and this. This is not lime green, by the way. Okay, this is a. It's like an exotic car green. I've called this the Jolly Ranger. So why I like this too, if you noticed. These are in black hands, black our index. It gives like a very strong contrast. Okay. It's very easy to read. And it also matches the bezel. Now, let me put this down and let me just try to put this down and put it together. Okay. And then these three, these are in darker dial colors. So what I've done is I use silver hands and silver hour indexes. Okay. Going to put this down. Um, what else I can share with you? Oh, by the way, I always want to mention this to everybody. Um, make sure you lock the crown after adjust the time. And I'll show you the back of the watch. Okay. For some of you are not familiar with automatic I will go through briefly and explain what is automatic movement. Okay, so this is the blue. You might have seen this in the GMT version. Okay. I think it's absolutely stunning. This blue is a darker blue. The Pantone is, just, is really, really nice. If you put it next to the purple, right? And then I'm going to show it to you uh, 
let's talk a little bit about automatic movement, if in case you're not familiar with it. All right, so this is a SII, which is Seiko Instrument Incorporated. And it's exactly the same movement as the Seiko brand. They just name it differently. Okay. And then with the Aragon blue rotor. Okay. 24,000 uh, vibration per hour. I nearly said RPM. <laughs> uh, date window at the three o'clock position. Okay. Now remember, if ceramic basal insert, sapphire crystal, automatic movement, titanium. Okay, and the wa the way we build this watch is very, very well. Okay, very smooth. Everything around. Look at if you look at the crown guard. Okay, it's all rounded. There's no. I don't believe there's any other Aragon can beat this one, and especially if you look at the crown. Okay, it's knurling crown. You see how it's very thin. But you can easily grab the crown. And it's very smooth to put it back in. Acid etching with a Aragon logo. Looks like a star. But instead it's a four piece star. Okay. Uh, fully integrated silicone strap. Okay. 120 teeth. Rotating basil. Look how thin this is. Very comfortable watch. Very lightweight because it's titanium. All right. So about automatic movement. Okay. If you're new to this uh, versus quartz, of course, I much prefer an automatic. Okay. Especially the price of this watch is so well priced or affordable. You probably might pay for a quartz watch, you know, in a like a department store. It's probably more expensive than what we're offering you right now. Uh, no battery is necessary for some for the new collectors or new to watch industry. So what you do is, you know, when you get this watch at home, uh, you notice second hand is running smoothly, right? There's no tick, so that's most likely is an automatic. Uh, what you do is you unscrew the crown, pull it all the way out, right? Adjust the time. Okay, the first click is to adjust the date. You can see this, right? Once you're done, my recommendation is you manually turn the crown clockwise about 20 times. Okay, the, no need to speed. And then once you're done, push and turn at the same times, at the same time, right? Make sure there's no gap in between. So now it's watertight. Okay. Water will not be able to get into the watch. Our failure rate with our Aragon brand is very, very low. I mean, very, very low. Not even 1%. Seriously. Um, so that's it. And then as long as you wear this watch, this rotor winds both directions to charge it. Okay. Once it's fully charged, it provides you about 40 hours of power reserve. Meaning, let's say if you not, decide not to wear the watch, you put this down. For the next day and a half, the watch will continue to run. And don't forget, we also calibrate the movement based on full charge. Okay? So if you understand that or not. And, and also, another tip I like to share with everybody is, I do not recommend um, a watch winder. Seriously. There's no need for a watch winder. The reason why is, you just try to imagine this. Okay, it's no different than having your car. Let's say you have a car, you keep the engine running without driving the car. You just have the car sit in your garage or the parking lot with your car running for the entire day. You don't need it because you don't need to, how would I say, it, um, lubricate. Everybody thinks putting on the winder, having the watch keep running will continue to lubricate all the wheels and, and pinions. It's completely the opposite. Okay? So you don't need to do this. That's just my opinion. But of course, the people who sell you the winder, they said it's healthy, you know, to keep your watch running. Uh, I don't believe in it. All right. Anyway, um, let me go back and put on 
the 50. Okay, I know I made the prediction that yellow is going to be uh, number one, but who knows, maybe black. And if you don't ever own this Aragon Jolly Rancher Green, you got to try this. Maybe you pick up two, uh, pick one of your favorite color and go second with this green. I promise you, you'll be like, wow. Of course, it's not like for every occasion. But can you imagine on the weekend, you wear this color and it makes you happy. Do you know what I mean? Like it will make you happy. All right, I'm going to put on the classic black. I'm going to mess up the entire table, okay? So this is definitely everywhere, every day, every outfit. Black with black always go. And I was, oh, I forgot to mention, um, you know how some people said to me, um, that's a, an excellent, great point. Okay. Some people said to me, um, I like titanium, titanium watches, but they're easily scratched. Okay. And when they scratch, they'll see um, like um, the mark, right? And I want to share with you why with this Aragon titanium, it will be the same as your stainless steel. And the reason why I learned that 20, 30 years ago, how they made the titanium and uh, how they process titanium and how they finish it. And I avoid that kind of process. I don't want to share this tip out there, okay? Because it's sort of my own... Um, knowledge that I gained through the years. So this, the way we process our stainless steel, I mean, our titanium, it will be the same as stainless steel or whatsoever. A stainless steel case or a stainless steel watch. So 45, I'm wearing purple. And this purple is not any purple. This Pantone that I've been selected is a deep purple. See how Certain angles, you only see like a, like a dark. What's that drink that I grew up drinking? Ribena. Right? If you look at the darker area, it looks like that. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you, um, you're from Europe, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay. And the last one I'm going to put on is the yellow. And... And I will try to see if I can do it. Okay, because everything is set up. Because I remember last time, look at that. I have a feeling the yellow is going to sell out first. So I'm going to show it to you like this. I'm going to walk to the dark area. I want you to see the transition of this loom. See that? All right, so I'm going to go to a darker corner. And then I'm going to put it under the light. This is the famous Aragon spot. All right, so no words is required to say anything. Okay, so I will leave you to this. And I will see you very, very soon. All right, later.